I'd like to talk about abundance. Because I think a lot of people misunderstand what this means. The obvious mistake is we connect abundance with money. Money is part of abundance, but it is not what abundance is. Money is a symptom. Money is the effect of abundance. It is how abundance can show up in our physical reality. A reminder that everything we see around us is a reflection, is representative of our inner world. It is not real, it's a metaphor. It's like watching a movie, like something really art house that's not literal and that, that takes Ooh, takes a little bit of thinking to figure out what it's actually about, right? Allegorical? I think that's the correct term. <laughs> it's the world we're living in. We're living in like an art house stage play. So people get stuck on abundance. Like they go, I want to manifest money, but you know, I'm spiritual, so I'm going to call it abundance, but they're still thinking about money, man. And that's okay. We've talked about this before. Money is not evil. It's not a dirty word. It's okay to manifest it. But we get stuck thinking about it the wrong way. Abundance. What does it mean to be abundant? You have more than enough. You'll never run out. You don't want for anything. Now, what if we think about that, not just connected to money, but connected to everything, and suddenly we start to connect the dots and we start to realize that we're not manifesting abundance at all, but rather abundance is the key mindset we need to get whatever we want. I don't know if we have any gamers out there, but if anyone's familiar with games like Minecraft, probably the best example that most of you will understand, it's a game about building stuff, gathering resources, crafting, building stuff. Within that game, there is a creative mode, and this is very common for games that allow you to build within their world. We get stuck thinking that we're playing the main game mode, that we have to gather resources and we have to struggle and survive and that there's lack. But we're actually playing in creative mode. There is no struggle. There is no lack. We don't have to survive. We don't have to gather resources. Everything we need is already within us. So why? Why do we get stuck thinking that we are not already abundant? Because just like a video game, when there are no constraints, things get boring. <laughs> Imagine you play a game and you're guaranteed to win every time. That'd kind of suck. Where's the challenge? Where's the fun? <laughs> so then you have to wonder, well, 
if we have chosen to be here in this limited form so that we can have some fun what, like wh what are we doing to ourselves why and then what's what's even the point of overcoming it well that is exactly the point imagine playing a game but instead of the objective being how to figuring out how to win the objective is figuring out that you've already won <laughs> so how does this come back to abundance I would like to expand the term abundance outside of the world of money to everything. Yeah. Matches. I like candles. I like incense. Big surprise. <laughs> and I like to use matches. Here in my possession is an abundance of matches. Do I worry about running out of matches? No, because I got a whole friggin' drawer full of them. Even when I run out, am I worried about buying more? No, they're cheap. I am abundant in matches and matches will never be a problem for me. It's kind of a silly example, but I hope it gets my point across. Abundance is not something we manifest. It is not about money. It is a mindset. And it ties into everything. We've talked about this before. The fact that you're already free, that you, you don't have to struggle and, and fight and work hard and, and worry about the, the details and how to get to where you want to go. When we get right down to it, even within the confines of the physical illusion, we're free. If we let go of the illusion of obligation and we let go of the illusion of limitation and we don't listen to the people or rather the other selves telling us you can't do that or before you ha can have that you have to do that when we let that go and we realize all the rules of this world even within the confines of the physical illusion all these rules have been made up <laughs> then we enter the creative mode because all the rules have been made up money who decided money had value <laughs> Does it have inherent value? <laughs> no. If society collapses and we're back to living like savages in caves, will money have any meaning? Of course not. You'll be back to square one. Everything that you need will be within you. Hunt and gather. Where do you get the resources for that? They're within you. The capability of your physical body, the ingenuity of your mind. We have done this before and we can do it again. And in fact, it is all happening all at once anyway. Abundance. Money is energy, right? Think about what you're doing with your energy. Do you wake up feeling insecure, feeling like you have to protect what you have because it could be taken away from you at any moment? With that mindset, do you expect to make a lot of money? Probably not. Do you wake up emanating? Feeling that on an energetic level you have more than enough and you can give it away freely.
that no matter what comes your way, whether they're obstacles or opportunities, you have the ability to jump on board and go with the flow. That's another thing where we're, we're, we're so trained to be prepared. Why? Because all that does is limit your thinking and, and, and focus your attention on what could go wrong. So abundance is being open to opportunity and truly open. You have to let go of control and let whatever comes your way come your way. So there's this paradox. Ooh, I love paradoxes. <laughs> where obviously we want to consciously manifest, but in the process, we have to also give up conscious control. We have to consciously choose to be out of control <laughs> so that we can get what I want. It's like throwing a ball. Do you have control over the ball once it leaves your hand? No. You set it on its path and then you trust that it's going to get you there. In fact, <laughs> I've experienced this physically with something as mundane as that. So I'm, <laughs> I'm the kind of guy to, to throw something in the bin rather than place it, right? I do it all the time. It's just like, I don't know, it's fun. And I can see it the moment the piece of trash leaves my hand and I go, oh, is it good to go in? It doesn't go in. But the times that it does go in and like by the skin of its teeth too. And then I realize I wasn't even thinking about that. I just did it. As silly as that sounds, that's, good. that's possibly one of the best examples I can give you. You just do it. Remember, look, we got we got to quote Yoda here, Yoda from Star Wars, right? Try not, do or do not. There is no try. There is no try, guys. And if you're deep in the shit, and it's difficult for you to see and accept possibilities at the moment, that's probably going to grate on you. And I completely understand. So to you, I would say, it's probably going to grate on you too, but the time will come. I've, I've been there. It's baby steps. You know, you have to let go of control. You have to. So whether you want to talk to God or your higher self or guys, I don't care whatever works for you. we we'll just talk to yourself, whatever. Let it out. Stop trying to control. And, and let it go. Let it, let it rise out of you. If you have a problem, give it to the universe. But you can't sit there dwelling on it going, ah, oh, but like, did I suppress, did I, did I impress the subconscious mind well enough? Did I do a good job? <laughs> Dude, is the universe working on it or is the universe, you know, like, are they backed up at the moment? <laughs> this is why for, for, for the average person, Forget literally forgetting about it is probably the best course of action. My SD card is full and we stopped recording, which means it's time to wrap up this video. <laughs> Just having too much fun. I could probably go on with this topic forever, but abundance is a mindset. It's not what you're manifesting. In fact, 
the deeper I go, the more I realize that manifestation is not what we think it is. We are not actively manifesting. All we're doing is changing our mindset such that a natural reflex that is manifestation works out in our favor in a way that we can predict it rather than just random shit happening to us and it's like, ah, all right. But like I said, the paradox, you still have to let go of control enough or rather completely such that you don't have control over how it shows up, but it will show up. What you want will show up. All right, guys, as always, take what resonates and discard the rest.